What is going on, pros and average Joes? I got a uh, mess. Re- m- mess. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mess. I got a uh, a mesh review for you today. Um, triple S strings, 15 millimeter mesh. Uh, got in contact with me. Asked if I could do a mesh review form, and I said, you know, send one over. Let's do it. I'll be more than happy to do it. Here is triple S strings, argyle, uh, neon green, and uh, royal blue. Um, came out super nice. Really easy to string. Um, I gotta cut these, but uh. When I first got it out of the package, uh, it was actually flaking a lot, and I was kind of worried about it at first, but then as I started stringing it, and the mesh really started to break in, and as I broke it in, all, I guess, that excess wax that was on top of it fell off, and, uh, you know, you can't see anything else on here, um, and the other thing I was afraid of, with that wax falling off, I thought I was going to lose grip within the pocket, so what I did as I shot... I don't know, maybe 30, 30, 40 shots with this. And then I started uh, throwing against the wall and, um, you know, didn't see any change in it from uh, when I first took it out and started throwing with it. But um, just to give you guys a side view of the pocket, uh, changed up my pocket just a little bit from my usuals. Instead of going with the straights, I did an, a lower nylon, a heavy nylon with uh, uh, a straight and then a wider U. Um, just wanted to try something different, and the other thing I really liked is that the piece that he gave or that he that he uses is uh, a lot longer than most of the heads. So this actually gives uh, a lot of play with people that like to do you know a single double up or or a single um, I'm sorry a single or like a double uh, to double up the sidewalls to get that pocket in, um, which is awesome because I always have a problem, not always, but um. I like to have uh, a little bit of uh, of tail on the end, um, especially when I string my goalie sticks, for sure. But um, that is definitely a plus. Uh, very easy to break in. Um, took a little bit longer than East Coast dies or Throne Mesh, but um, it it definitely broke in to the to the way I wanted it to. Um, just to give you guys a nice little channel angle. I mean, it's a great piece of mesh. Not not for for nothing it's it's a great piece and it took a little bit and uh, i'm glad it took that long because he said he had a problem with one of the the mixtures and uh this tank this actually came out really good but um you know i'm really happy with it uh, a couple things uh that i don't think are negative but uh the coloration i don't know what it is he said it's not marker and i'm taking his word for it um, cause it doesn't, it looks like it from a far away, but then when you get up close, um, it is way too dark to be marker. So I don't know if, if it's, I don't even know. I can't even say it. Um, it is kind of discoloring the sidewall once you start stringing it and really stretching the mesh out against it and starts rubbing, but the coloration of it doesn't come off of the mesh. It's just kind of rubbing against this. It's not actually coming off of the mesh when it starts rubbing, but, um, other than that, the colors are pretty deep. Uh, maybe you know a little bit more detail within, like the, in between the diamonds, as far as the coloration of it, uh, to give it a little bit more deeper and a and a more uh, defined uh, overall look. But doing it by hand and doing argyle would trick my eyes like crazy. And uh, as you guys can see, you got that down pretty pat. So um, that is triple S strings. Go check them out on Instagram and, and YouTube. Uh, and uh, that's it for now. So if you guys got any questions, please leave a comment below. Or uh, even better, go check him out. So that is it for now. And I hope to see you out there.